is, um, it's actually, just to be kind of uh, straightforward, the demo was put together fairly quickly. Uh, the water has a relatively naive um, model for its motion, but, you know, all that said, the water looks, looks pretty good. Um, I mean, better than much of what you see out there. There's no repeating patterns, and it's incredibly rich from a, a ge geometry perspective. So let's just look at the wire frame quickly. Um, so there are um, a lot of triangles out there. Um, <coughs> so it's, it's very, very densely tessellated. Um, let's see now. Let's go back out to, to sort of change the level of detail, I'm sorry, out to the coarse mesh. So you can see as you vary the level of detail, <coughs> you get very large triangles in the foreground, and still some relatively small stuff in the back. One thing I want to emphasize is that this particular program, as I was saying, was put together quickly. It's naive in, a sense, in the sense that it doesn't um, change the level of detail from the foreground to the background. So the slider over there on the right simply changes the level of detail for all of the, um, all of the patches in the scene to the same value. So you get over tessellation in the back and you know, sort of un under tessellation in the front. So let's switch to the rendered view now. So now you see this is, looks pretty awful, but um, let's see, the frame rate is almost, um, let's see, it's 270 frames. You're welcome to look, but um, that's, that's what it is. Uh, but, and, but that's what's being, that's representative of what's being sent down to the GPU. Right, that's yeah, this is representative of what's right. coming across from the CPU. Correct. All right. So now, um, actually with the little island out of the way, it's up to 290 frames a second. Um, and then we, so we have a little more sky. In any case, now if we crank up the tessellation um, to the point where it looks, looks pretty good, um, it's down to um, 130 frames a second. Now, so that's a factor of, yeah, for my purposes, I'll just call it a factor of two in performance. But, what you're seeing um, sort of bought with that factor of two in performance is probably three orders of magnitude between, say, 500 and 1,000 times the geometry that's being rendered. So we're rendering, you know, b between 100 and 1,000 times more geometry and only impacting the frame rate by um, a factor of two. So the, just the the, in some sense, the discrepancy between those two numbers is startling. And the, and the point is that you should be able to, you being a developer, uh, be able to devote huge amounts of geometry to characters and not have a huge impact on the frame rate and the performance. You're still, to some extent, um, being controlled by how many pixels you're drawing in the scene. Uh, so are there any questions about this? Have I missed anything? Um, um, I guess one, one thing, you know, as you slide that slider bar around, this sort of uh, <coughs> illustrates what Henry was talking about earlier, where, there, where tessellation is this really interesting uh, effect in terms of its scalability.